Hi, I'm TJ Harmon. Thanks for joining me. This is week 10 of my NFL Weekly Picks for the 2016-2017 NFL season. Let's recap week 9, and I did pretty well for week number 9. Against the spread, I went 9-3-1 and one with one push being a Rams and Panthers game. Straight up, I went 9-4, and four, so hey, great for me as well. Just the loss to my Eagles against Giants kind of stung me a little bit. And in my video against the spread, I went 3-1, and one, so I'm still looking for that breakout week. And plus, I'm not that far against the spread in third place, so... Let's keep it moving, shall we? Let's get with my four against the spread picks for week 10. We'll start off with the first game with the Washington Redskins hosting the Minnesota Vikings. The Redskins are three-point favorites in this game. They're coming off their bye, by the way, just as well. And I've been telling you that the bye bug has been biting some teams, but not all. But the past couple weeks... The buy bug has been, pretty much been an advantage to teams who just had a week off. So I think the Redskins will be one of those teams. Meanwhile, Minnesota on a three-game losing streak right now. They're back even in the division and Packers 4-4. Four and four, So it's a tight NFC North division. Minnesota is hurting even though North turned to design and Pat Shermer took over and but I still don't have confidence in Sam Bradford. He's still getting sacked. That O-line is hurting and McKinnon is hurting. And it's just a lot going on. Their defense is not that bad. But it's the offense that's not putting up all those points. Redskins, meanwhile, coming off their bye, like I said, against, you know, in London with the Bengals. tie, whatever you want to say. Jordan Reed will definitely bring back his A game to the fans in Washington. I think this is going to be Washington all day in this game. So I'm going to tell you to take those points and give it to Redskins minus three. The second game we want to look at is the game between the Arizona Cardinals at home facing the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC West division game. The Cardinals are 13 point favorites in this game. I believe it could be a little bit more than that. Thank you, Vegas, for bringing the 13 because 49ers is flat out stink. Blaine Garrett couldn't do anything for this team, even though he's he was the only quarterback on the team to get that one win. Colin Kaepernick, he's not doing much of anything for this team. And since he's been back, he's lost two games. Chip Kelly, I'd be surprised if they let him go because he's just doing all kinds of things. And just, it's just ridiculous in San Francisco. Meanwhile, the Cardinals coming off their bye, and they got this game all day in Arizona. So I'm going to tell you to give those points to Arizona. Don't be surprised it'd be a little bit higher than that, but we'll keep it safe at minus 13. The third game we're going to look at is the game between the Green Bay Packers on the road facing the Tennessee Titans. The Packers are two and a half point favorites in this game. Packers, tough loss at home against the Indianapolis Colts uh, this past Sunday. It should have been better than that. It's their running game that hurts. I'm not too certain about Ty Montgomery as a running as a running back for this team. Uh, now Davis, of course, was with them, but eventually got released and went back to Kansas City. They need A. Lacey. They need him bad. They need him to come back if they've got any chance to go into the playoffs. But the run game is hurting, and they still got some issues on their offense. It's the defense that wins your games. The defense is still hanging in there. It's just the offense that's got to put up those points. Meanwhile, Tennessee... Loses last week, but they definitely can pull up those points. Marcus Mariello, oh, man, he's just been a beast these past couple of games. But uh, he helped on that offensive line defense. Could make it a pretty tight game, but we'll see. Titans are the underdogs in this game, so I'm going to tell you to take those points and give it to the Packers, minus two and a half. And my final against the spread game will be the game Sunday night. Seattle Seahawks going to New England to face the Patriots. The Patriots are seven-point favorites in this game. Meanwhile, the Patriots coming off their bye, but Tom Brady, he's just a man. Enough said. Seattle coming off that 31-25 win over the Buffalo Bills. The referees gave them that game for real because there were a lot of penalties that weren't called that should have went on behalf of the Bills, but it just didn't happen. Referees just stink this season, to be honest with you. But Seattle, I don't think we'll have a chance against the Patriots. They may make it close. It could be a two-point possession game. We'll see. Uh, Russell Wilson, he's mobilizing, but that Patriot defense could probably leave him right in that pocket and crush him, might I say. So 
we'll, we'll see what happens. So give those points to the Patriots and tell you to take it minus seven for New England. And those are my four against spread picks this week. Now here are the rest of my straight up picks for week number 10. And that will do it for my week 10 picks for the 2016-2017 NFL season. I'm TJ Homer here on YouTube, over at underscore on Twitter. Follow my other YouTube prognosticators on their links, which is down here at the bottom of this page. Also, shout goes to, to the Water Boy Report. He's one of our new prognosticators. Check his videos out. They're real, real good. You can check his uh, video on the description box and the bottom of this page. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are voting, vote right for who you want. That's all I'm going to say. But I know who I'm in for, and let's hope we do the same. Thanks again for watching. I will see you right back here next week for Week 11. Till then, I'll see you.